So this workout, it is what I call a stimulus workout. The whole purpose of this workout is to hold a specific stimulus the entire time that you're going through the round. Okay, the stimulus we are trying to hold on to is a fast twitch, explosive muscle fiber stimulus, and we're trying to hang on to it the entire round. Okay? What we're going to start out with was uh, four back squats. The back squats, we're going to be cleaning those from the ground. You're going to wrap it on your back. Three, two, one, go. The clock starts. The purpose of the back squat, it needs to be heavy, which is going to challenge your nervous system, and it's going to grab your slow twitch fibers and your fast twitch fibers. Okay? That's why we're doing that portion. We're going to maximize the recruitment and use of all of your fibers. We are then going to go into part two, which is 10, overhead jumping split lunges. You're going to grab a plate, you're going to go into your lunge, and you're going to jump and split, five on each side, five on the right side, five on the left side. We do not need to touch the knee on the ground, okay? The purpose of this workout is, is we're going to start in a low position, the lunge is going to be in a medium position, and then part three is the toe touches. I saw you warming those up. You're going to hold the plate overhead, and you are going to toe touch like this. Now as you get fatigued, you're going to want to lean back and use more of your posterior chain instead of more quad. And the key is to stand upright in a mid stance and do 10 on each leg, okay? The purpose of the overhead jumping split lunge is to pull out those fast twitch fibers. It is what we call a ballistic movement. It is the heart of this workout. It's the core of this workout. It's the most important thing. That movement needs to be extremely fast. It needs to be a holistic movement that requires high force. The more force you use, the more you'll pull out those fast twitch fibers. The reason why we're pulling out these fast twitch fibers is so that when we get into the toe touches and the sprint, we are going to extend the endurance of those fast twitch fibers, okay? There is a portion of your fast twitch fibers that use oxygen to create energy. We are going to tap those and add a monostructural sprint and make those go longer. This is how people develop their finishing kick. So an average athlete has an ability to sprint somewhere around 10, maybe 15 seconds all out. If you've trained it properly, you have the ability of sprinting upwards of 40 seconds. So part of what you'll find out today when you do your 200 meter run is you'll be sprinting and then all of a sudden it's like, I don't have anymore and your speed will slow down. That transition from fast twitch to slow twitch muscle fibers is when you need to stop the run and just walk in, okay? Again, once you finish your back squat, we wanna stay fast twitch high intensity the entire time, even on the run. And if you can make it all 200 meters, that is incredible. But as soon as you start to slow and settle into a pace, then you jog in or walk in. This is a partner workout. Partner number one is going to go first. Two and a half minutes later, partner number two will go. Okay? Every five minutes is a round. We will do a total of six rounds. Any questions? Zwei Minuten dazu. Also, wie Uhr läuft du?